two Dole Bananas for my pre-run snack. And if anybody ever tells you that there's no difference between Chiquita and Dole Bananas, you tell them that they're fucking stupid and they don't know shit about bananas. What is love? That was definitely not the most fun run I've done in a while because I just started lifting for the first time in a couple months yesterday. So I am sore all over. But uh, anyway, I'm out in the Fayetteville slash Manlius area, so I'm near Target. So I'm going to go pick up some Beyond Meat right now. Now, I personally am not all about that fake meat life. Although I think Beyond Meat is a great company. Uh, and I think they really serve their purpose as far as like getting new vegans to go vegan. Um, but I'm getting the Beyond Meat today for pretty much my dad because he is vegan when he's at home and if we go to like a family party he'll eat ice cream or steak or whatever else he can get his hands on. Um, although he doesn't eat too much because it kind of makes him feel like shit, he said. Um, but he, he will eat when he goes out so he's kind of vegan just because we are. He's not vegan because like he wants to be vegan. Um, he's just vegan because that's what we're doing. If we started eating meat again, he'd totally want to eat meat. Um, so I try to get him things that are like, you know, fake meat so that he feels like, you know, he's uh, not completely, I don't know, like, he's, he's still kind of new to being vegan. So um, I think it just sort of helps him out if I can get him like some, like transitioning foods until maybe he doesn't even want them anymore. Although I don't really see that happening. Uh, but anyway, that's why I'm here. Last time I was here, I was with a friend and I got uh, uh, Beyond Meat. It was like ground beef and I got like Beyond Chicken. It was like some chicken strips. So I'll see if they have anything new. It's over here somewhere. So this is what we had. They had last time I was here. Just the uh, Beyond Chicken, Beyond Beef. I'll probably get like one of these. And, I don't know, a couple of these. So I don't know if I explained things too well uh, when I was in the parking lot, but I'm trying to make my dad have a positive experience with veganism, because although these foods may not be the healthiest, like, it's better to eat whole plant foods. Uh, I think it's better that he, like, will occasionally eat some fake meat products than just be like, you know what, veganism is too hard for me, I'm just going to go back to eating meat and cheese. And, you know, I, I feel like it's healthier for him to just have, like, a little bit of an outlet instead of just going like, fuck this, I'm eating meat and cheese. So... Although I will eat those, uh, the, the Beyond Meat, because they're quite good. Uh, they're not the healthiest, so I won't really eat it on a regular basis. Um, and if I was just grocery shopping for myself, I really wouldn't get it unless I was uh, trying to get another uh, non-vegan to go vegan or have a more positive experience with going vegan. That's pretty much the only time I really uh, have um, any fake meat products other than like my vegan meatballs that I make, because they are so good. And I know exactly what goes in them because I'm the one making them. So anyway, going home, going to shower and eat more bananas on the way home and try not to get the bananas on the steering wheel. This is supposedly apple brownies. It's more like apple bread or apple cake. But anyway, I'm going to finish it off. This is seriously so good. And there's no oil in it. I can show you guys the recipe. Um, it's not exactly what we did. Because obviously you can see that it has eggs in it so my mom my mom pretty much always does um flax seeds and water or flax ground flax and water and i use soy flour and water um either way we'll get you a fake egg though uh and the oil that was on there my mom used applesauce instead but this is super good maybe i'll make a recipe video about it i'm sure she wouldn't mind if i made it again just got a big old bowl of pasta my mom just made it actually uh and the sauce is just uh Sauce from a jar. I found this in the fridge, actually. It was a uh, sauce from a jar mixed with uh, soy chorizo, and it had, like, some cooked onions and cooked peppers. It was from a couple days ago. My mom made pasta again. We make pasta a couple times a week. Uh, so anyway, just plain clean up, as I usually do with some pasta. It's peanut butter jelly time. So I'm at work now. This is my work hat. I asked them if I could tell you guys where I work, and they're just like, I don't give a shit. So, <laughs> so I, I figured they wouldn't really care, but I thought it'd be good to ask first. Um, that is where I work. It's called Core. Uh, it's a very vegan-friendly place. Not all things are vegan, um, but pretty much anything on the menu can be made vegan, and uh, as long as it's pretty much like Chipotle as far as like an assembly line of salads goes, uh, and I'm like the 
the start of the assembly line. Uh, so as long as the rest of the people in the assembly line are okay with me showing a video, I maybe like for my dinner break tonight, because I start work at like four o'clock, um, maybe for my dinner break I'll show you guys like uh, exactly what I'm making for my salad, what the salad line looks like, because it's pretty much like every vegan's dream. All right, so do a build your own. Start with the masculine rice and quinoa. Do you know? Do you know which one's masculine? Yeah. Where you? Yeah, grab the tongs. They plain. And uh, the did you get rice and quinoa. Yeah. Okay. Did, what she's doing is normally my job. She's doing my job right now. Uh, let's see, I'll get some oranges. Uh, tomatoes. Black beans. Uh, cranberries. Uh, garbanzo beans. And sprouts. I'll get like a, either a really big scoop of hummus or like double hummus. And uh, avocado. Look at that. The cool slicer. Would you say that you're a pro? Professional. <laughs> um, I'll, I, uh, we're out of almonds, so I guess I'll just do like a lime squeeze. And I'll get the Thai cashew dressing. Alright, so these are all the dressings we have here. There's uh, like there's like three or four total uh, vegan dressings. A lot of them like would be like the I think with the like cranberry vinaigrette around here somewhere that would be vegan, but there's honey in it somewhere. A lot of them are like that, but uh, the uh, the Thai cashew, the miso sesame, sesame ginger, the carrot chili, and balsamic vinaigrette are all vegan. So lots of vegan options. Thanks, Emily. I just got back from work and my mom was threatening to make some food earlier before I left. So let's see if she followed through on her threat. And it looks like there's some pots and pans. And uh, some squash. So I guess I'll be having squash before I go to bed.